Hey guys, this is Andrew from Above the Film and Nick Wolf as well. And I'm here with Ryan Buell from a &E's Paranormal State. And uh, thank you What's up? for taking the time out to do this for us. No problem. And uh, so you're this big ghost hunter, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I'm assuming, do you get scared when you do these ghost hunts? Are there moments where you get freaked out by it? Mm. Some very rarely. I mean, and I'm not just saying that to like build myself up. I mean, a lot of the work I do is actually mundane. You know, people thinking their babies are being haunted, or I don't know that they've got a demon in their vacuum cleaner. I have to sit there and spend a lot of time just rationalizing with them. But everyone, but then I also like so I kind of consider that like the clinical work. Does it get frustrating? It, well, look, yeah. I mean, any job, especially. Yeah. When you're dealing with these people, and you're like, sometimes yes, we go, why don't these people <laughs> use their brains? Um, but at the same time, I have to put myself in their shoes and go, look, they're frightened, they're scared. Let me just explain to them, you know, no, you need to take your baby to a doctor. That's probably got a virus or a rash. You know, no, you need to go see a psychologist. You know, you need to stop ghost hunting. It scares you so much. So a lot of my job is that, or my team will handle that. But then I do do cases, you know, on a frequent basis. And the ones that really get to me are the ones that are challenging. But to be honest with you, people scare me more than the paranormal. So when people get hysterical, frightened, irrational, that's when I kind of get a little frightened because the next thing you know they're grabbing their gun and I'm like, you're going to shoot and I have to talk them out of, put that gun down, you're going to shoot one of us, not a ghost. You can't shoot a ghost. Um, that's when I get a little frightened. Has something like that seriously ever happened on the show? Like that's not, something that serious? No, not on the show. It's a little bit... A lot, you know, the show was a lens looking into my, you know, our investigations. But a lot of our, you know, there were some gems in our show, honestly, some really good investigations. But a lot of our, you know, we call mean potato investigations, that's a lot more private because most people do not want to be filmed. Yeah. It's a big, thick contract they have to sign. They want help, but not that badly. So we'll do private cases from time to time. And, yeah, and those are the more exhilarating because it's just a few people in the middle of the woods in this ranch house where the client's getting drunk because he's scared of ghosts and they have to calm him down, put the shotgun down, then stuff's happening around the house. So a lot of that stuff is, uh, you edit your own, own work? Uh, no, I, we, there's, a, there was a production team that edited okay. it. Yeah. Now with your stuff, obviously you have to do a lot of waiting and patient work and sitting and stuff like that. How do you know, because obviously most of it's interesting to you, so how do you know what you guys think should be in the actual show as opposed to what isn't interesting enough to be in it? Well, I mean, that's a political process. You've got production, you've got the network, then you have us all essentially debating and fighting over what we think should be in there. I don't always win the battle, so I have, you know, I have to choose very carefully when I want to make a big deal about something, um, even just selecting cases. But there are times where I have to fight and argue with editors who are never even there, trying to tell me, well, this is the story. I go, no, I was there. Yeah. But the thing is, in their defense, too, they've got hundreds of hours of footage to look through. They don't have a year to edit this. They have about six to eight weeks, which is not that much time. And, you know, to be honest, they don't know, what, you know, they don't know the paranormal process. So there was a lot of fighting with that internally. Um, which is normal for a lot of shows, I guess. Yeah. Especially when you've got all these different sides. Most of the time, it's just a production team. And they fight with each other maybe about different things, but that's how it is. This was different because they had us, you know, as well, where we were very influential on what to put on the show. Okay. What's up, guys? This is Ryan Buell from A's Paranormal State and the American Ghost Hunter movie. And you guys need to check out AboveTheFilm.com.